What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are rocking out with an Evelta team to help you guys push high ranks towards the end of the season. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Seriously, thank you guys so much for all the support that has been going out across the channel. We have some big news coming up, some big games, a lot of new content coming up. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And also, we're on the road to 10k subscribers, so let's get there. Let's get there. I'm so excited for that. Thank you guys so much once again. But getting started with this team, we have Rillaboom in the top left corner. Very good Pokemon in this series. Has been one of the top tier Pokemon that is not restricted in this series. Just always good. Always great to bring into any single team. It's got the Grassy Surge ability so we can have Terrain Control. Assault Vest so we can soak up some damage. Fake Out, Grassy Guy, Drum Beating, and U-Turn for this phenomenal moveset. Right next to him is going to be our Tailwind Pokemon. And that is Talonflame over here. And I feel like Talonflame is super, super strong. Like almost meta, but not really meta. It is right on that borderline of being that good. It has the Gale Wings ability so every time we're at full HP and we use a flying move such as Tailwind we will get first turn priority which is absolutely amazing that's why I love this Pokemon we have the charcoal item so fire moves will be boosted so heat wave and overheat will be able to do more damage and then our final move is going to be protect on this Pokemon middle left is going to be Regilecki another Pokemon just like Roboom that you can bring in on any team and get the work done with it transistor ability and the magnet as an item so we get that boost to electric type moves. Then we got E-Web for speed control, bolt switch for damage and pivot. Then we got reflective setup and protect for our final move. Middle right is going to be Kartana, one of the best Ultra Beasts in this game. I think it actually might be the best Ultra Beast. Super, super good. It hits like a truck. Very high physical attacker. Really, really good. Beast boost ability. Focus Sash to let us stay in the battle for an extra turn. And then we got this amazing normal move set for him with Smart Strike, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, and Protect. I just love this Pokemon. I feel like he comes in at great situations. He has great speed, hits hard, and he can end up picking you guys up the last KOs for your battles. Bottom left corner is going to be Togekiss, and this is pretty much the most off-meta Pokemon on the scene. Even though Togekiss is so good, ever since this series hit, I don't know why Togekiss has really fallen off. But that leads me to next series, Series 11. Togekiss is going to be back in action because Dynamax is going to come back. So you're going to be seeing a lot of Togekiss, so I cannot wait to get back in action with this Pokemon, as I really, really like to use it. But Togekiss is over here with the Super Luck ability, Scope Blends as its item, so crits are going to be crazy we're gonna be able to crit with this pokemon even though though it only has one attack move with dazzling beam this thing's more so built for support it's got the follow me to protect the ally pokemon protect to protect itself and yawn to put opposing pokemon to sleep final pokemon on this team is the one and only yvelta haven't really used this pokemon that much in series 10 maybe like one or twice but it is super strong i wouldn't give it like the s tier on the tier list for restricted mods but it is right there in the a tier in my opinion it's got the dark aurora life orb Oblib oblivion wing dark pulse foul play and protect for its moveset guys if you want to try out the team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this meta yvelta team before we hop into our first battle, I definitely want to get question of the day out of the way so more people see it, and that is, would you guys like to build me teams for Series 11? As you guys know, Series 11 is about a week and a half out, which is very, very soon, and I'm going to need teams to showcase on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested, make sure you DM me your rental codes or just DM me over on my Instagram page. Name is right below my face cam, and there is a link down in the description below. Seriously, hopefully you guys do help out so I can showcase some fan-made teams on Series 11. You guys got to remember, Dynamax is back. We get one restricted mods, and make sure your teams are all battle mark ready. But we're hopping into our first battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team, alongside Rillaboom, Indeedee, My Shell, Prima Arena, and Women's Scott. You haven't really been seeing a lot of Prima Arenas, because Top of Finney is just way better, and it basically does the same thing. But it can set up a Tailwind, so we definitely want to go into our Talonflame if that's the case. I kind of want to lead this Rillaboom. And then I want to go into Yvelta, obviously. Big old Life Orb can get some big damage off there. And then maybe Vegeleki or Kartana. One or the other here. You know what I'd rather have? I mean, he's not going to set up a Trick Room. I don't see him setting up a Trick Room. Not one bit. Not one bit. I mean, I could go into just Talonflame and Yvelta. Instead of going in with the Roboom. Let's, let's just save the Roboom for the back end. Go Kartana and then Roboom in the back end. I really do like that. I'm digging this. Let's rock out with it. Let's try to grab ourselves a win in battle number one. But hey, we got a lot of content coming out from the channel. Absolute crazy amount of content coming for you guys. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe considering Series 11 comes out, like I just said. So we're going to be doing a bunch of content on that. The Diamond and Pearl remakes come out middle of November, which is very soon. Going to be doing guides, playthroughs, and live streams on that. Live streams are starting very soon up again. So make sure you follow me over on Twitch. Name is below my face cam, as well as... uh. 
Link is down in the description below. And then we have Legends Arceus coming out in um, about two months. About two months, which is blows my mind. Cannot wait for that game. Gonna be doing guides. Gonna be crushing that game. Playthroughs, all different content on it. So make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out. It's gonna lead the Mind Shout alongside with the uh, with the Shadow Rider counters. And in that case, I'm just gonna double protect here. Just block the fake outs. And then go into a Tailwind next turn and try to get rid of that Shadow Rider counter. That is gonna be my play. He might hard swap here. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. But I really do wonder who he's gonna fake out. That is my question. That is my question. Or is he gonna pop a Trick Room? I mean, does the Shadow Rider Calyrex learn Trick Room? I feel like it does, but then I feel like it might not. So we'll see. I just don't see him going into a Trick Room though. I feel like he's just gonna go for the fake out into uh, whatever his big move is. I totally forget the name of it. Whatever that thing is called. I don't even know what it's called, but I use it all the time and everyone uses it all the time. Astral Barrage, that's what it is. Faint's gonna- Oh, wow. This dude faints on me. Dude faints. Go for the faint. Go for the faint. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'll give this dude props all day. We should be able to eat that up, right? All day. We eat that up all day. But the faint is super, super cool. But he reads the protect coming out. He reads the protect and faint just takes off my protect, which is really awesome. But in this case, we just go for a tailwind at this point, And then we just drop... A nice lovely Dark Pulse. Let's drop a nice lovely Dark Pulse. Or do we think he's going to protect? What do I think should happen here? He does protect. You son of a bitch. I knew I should have went to a Blue Wing. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. The so Tailwind's going to pop. My Shell shouldn't be able to take out my Yveltha. So we should be kind of sitting in a good spot. Dark Pulse is going to fly through here. It is going to get blocked. It's going to get blocked. It's going to go for a close combat. Which I think we should be able to eat that. Yep. All right, so we eat up all day. Uh, he doesn't have any first turn priority. I'm digging. Defense is dropping. I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave here. And then just, I could Oblivion Wing. Oblivion Wing could be the play. to get some HP back, but I just feel like Dark Pulse is absolutely here. I just think it's a must. We got to get rid of this Calyx. Like, he's on Withdrawal. Okay, withdrawal is the same. We're going to go for this Dark Pulse, and he's going to hard swap into Robum. Okay, so Robum's going to get the hard swap, and I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that. My shot might actually protect. See how this one plays out. Is my shot protecting? It's against the grassy seeds. And he's going to get a defense boost, but we're both special attacking. Faint's going to come through here. And this thing. Can we eat? Do not eat, bro. This thing. This guy's just out playing with the with the my shot. I know I should have read and went to the Bolivian wing, though. But Heat Wave's going to fly still, which is wonderful. With that charcoal, doing a decent amount of damage. Can we get some burns throwing? No nope, burns coming out. No burn. So we have speed. We're looking pretty good here. Another heat wave can do a decent amount of damage. And I can start bringing out Pokemon to actually pick up some KOs. Could bring out my Robum. Could bring out my lovely Robum. I could just hard swap or I could go into Kartana. I think Kartana's the play. Maybe picking up a KO with him. Getting the beast boost and kind of flying out with it from there. So Kartana's out and about. I'm really scared of the Shadow Rider counter. He really did outplay me there with all that. I think just going into this and then alongside with like a smart strike to take out the Robum would be really, really good for us. He might hard swap again. Let's see what he does. Let's see his dude's play. Fake out's going to pop into my Kartana. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. And then Faint is going to fly through here. Knock off my Gale Wings, which is a little tough. And then this, uh, this Heat Wave is going to be able to take out the My Shout and deal a good amount of damage onto the Robum. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a burn, though. Give me a burn. Show me a little bit of burn action. Again, we still have... Ooh, will that bring my HP back up to full? Super close, though. Super close. All right, so I can definitely see him grassy gliding. We still have a turn left in Tailwind. So, with that said, he might bring back out the Shadow Rider Calyrex just to protect, right? Yeah. So Calyrex is out, back out and about. And I could definitely see a protect coming in from him. So, in that case, I think I just Heat Wave. I think I just Heat Wave here, right? I still have a turn left in... Uh, one, right? Yeah. So I think a protection come out here. So I just heat wave from here and I double down into the uh I double down into the Calyrex with a nice lovely little smart strike. Oh, I could go leap wave now that we have the terrain. Yeah, leap wave would be a lot better. Terrain will make us do more damage. Let's see how he plays this one. Yeah, there's a protect. Saw that coming all day. We saw that coming all day. We already know about that. Double oh we double protect. This dude's double protect. Okay, so he double protects down. Uh hmm. Try to think. How should I play this one? Could protect our Kartana here, but he's gonna be aiming for this talent plane. He's definitely gonna be aiming for the talent plane, right? 
Let's just protect my town flame and try to get off a nice shot here. Hmm. Or do I just go straight for the town here? I just feel like he doubles down, right? I feel like he doubles down. We could pick up the KO off this real boom. Hmm. What do I have in the back end? I have... I still have Robum in the back end. He's going to be great. But I'm kind of waiting for his terrain to end. Kind of get him out there. So two turns for that. I think I'm going to double protect. Because <clears throat> I'm definitely going to need terrain to actually uh, win this battle. So I'm going to double protect here. Start wasting out that terrain turns. And see how we can play out from there. And just see what we can do from there. I wish my town flame got HP back. I really did. I really do. Because that would be huge. We could have had Gale Wing once again. But Astro Barrage is going to fly through here. We're going to get the Protects easily on it. Get a little bit of block in action. And he's going to try to pivot with a U-turn. So we see his turn. We see his turn. We know he's Orb. Um, hmm. We know Kartana outspeeds. So. Let's go for his Talon. Hoping to eat up. And then just go into a later Smart Strike. If he's gonna U-turn, I'm not really worried about the I'm really not worried about the Wilbum at all. He's gonna hard swap the Wilbum, okay. Like I said, I'm really not worried about the Wilbum. He's gonna go into Ooh, he has Wimpscott in the back. He's gonna end up protecting. So it's gonna be Tailwind for probably the rest of the battle. It's gonna be Tailwind for like the rest of the battle. Um We get off our Tailwind first. He's definitely gonna throw a Tailwind. And this one's going to be close. This is a good battle. This is a great battle. And I'm going to go into... Hmm. Heat wave or overheat here? Look, we just throw a heat wave here. I think this thing is Sash, but I'm definitely going to go into a heat wave. And try to get off this... Uh, I think Smart Strike would be better. What's this more damage? Oh, uh, no. Leak wave, 100%. The terrain is gone, but still. But still, that is played. Helping hands going to come out from him. This could work good for us. We have the Tailwind. We have speed. I'm actually happy he didn't go into a Tailwind. What a clown. What a clown. I think that just won us the game, right? That just won us the game. Get out of my face, dude. Get out of my face. How you be playing that good for the beginning of the battle and then make a move like that? I thought he was Tailwind and going into an Astro Barrage trying to get off some damage on us, maybe picking up some KOs, but he just threw the battle with that move. He just absolutely threw the battle, but yo, we take those all day. It was going to be a really, really close battle. I really did not know who was going to win. If he went into a Tailwind and went for Astro Barrage, because I could have taken out my Town Flame. I don't think it was taken out my Kartana, but it would have been very, very close. Would have been very, very close. We have Tailwind set up. That's pretty much GG's. That is GG's. All day, baby. All day, yo. Jeans is eating up, grabbing ourselves a win in Battle Number 1. He cancels this one out. Let's hop into a second and look to go back to back. Solid first battle to get this video started. It was going great. It was going like a decent battle. It could have went either way until he made that weird play with the uh, Wimscott and not Tailwind. And that kind of just gave us a win. Let us roll in there, pick up some KOs, and had him cancel the battle. But we're hopping into our second here. Looking to go back to back. Going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Urshfu, Tapu Lele, Wimscott for Tailwind, and then Rillaboom and Regilek. Okay. How should I play this one? I think Yavelta is a must lead here. I think Yavelta is a must lead. Uh, he does have Fake Out with the Rillaboom. She might bring in here, and I think I'm just gonna go in, go in with these two. I'll flame you about the same lead. I just think it works really, really well. And I'm definitely gonna be bringing my Roboom in here. Roboom comes in the back end super, super well. And then, do I go same squad with the Kartana? I could go same squad with the Kartana, or I can bring in Regilecki, who could be super, super good. But I just think Kartana's way better in this back end, so I'm gonna go in with the same squad, showcase this team yet again, and probably get into Kiss and Regilecki in the third and final battle. But, yo, dude, I really did enjoy playing that last battle. I just thought it was solid. He did outplay me in the beginning with that Shadow Rider Calyrex. I was so focused on that Pokemon. He was just protecting, swapping, and taking out my Yvelto with the My Shell. So, props to him for doing that. But then he just didn't play the back end. Well, he, I think he might have had that battle, but it was super close. Wimpscott and Regilecki do fly out here, which I'm cool with. I set up my Tailwind. I think we're going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. And Electric, mm, looking tough for us. Don't like Electric. None of us like Electric. We don't like Electric. I could Dark Pulse. I could Oblivion Wing. Uh, ch -ch -ch. What do I do here? I might just Dark Pulse try to get rid of this Regilecki. Tailwind. What do I protect? I could protect and then Tailwind next turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. 
Or do I Oblivion win? Because he's going to go first. He's going to deal some damage on me. What's going to do more damage? And I think I'd rather get the HP back. There is foul play. But it's not very effective. Yeah, let's just go for Dark Horse. And we'll protect this turn. Then we'll have first turn priority. Next turn, then let's get that Tailwind and eventually have him one extra turn when their Tailwind ends. If that's supply. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for Tailwind. Yeah. It's all this coming all day. And then probably into an e web if I had to guess. Yeah, e web pop him. Nice lovely protect. And there's the e web So, we're going to be able to go into a nice little Dark Pulse here. Take some damage. And I might hard swap next turn. Might hard swap next turn, depending on how we do here. Dark Pulse flies through. I can see he's picking up a KO as well. Let's see it. Make it happen, baby. Make it happen, yo. Nice little play from us. Um, I can now Tailwind, and I might just hard swap with that Tailwind out and about. Because he might just Moon Blast into me. Get some work done. But Reggie Lecky, get out my game. We don't want you here. He's going to bring in the Lele. Which I'm really cool with. Because, in that case, I'm just going to Tailwind, bring out my Roll Room, change up the terrain. And get rolling from there. And get rolling from there. Or I could protect and then just uh, set up the Tailwind. No, it would be more beneficial for me not to protect here. And just go straight into his Roll Room. And then just uh, set up this lovely Tailwind while we're at full health. So our Gale Wings ability can trigger and get after it from there. You know, not a bad first turn for us. I knew we were going to take some damage from that Yavel call. I was just like, if I can get off this Dark Pulse, we should be sitting fine. But I was I was hoping that... Uh, I totally forgot that the uh, Oblivion Wing was not very effective. Because if it wasn't, I would have went into that, got some HP back, knowing he was going to go into that e -bell. But I'll take that turn all day. We'll do this hard swap. We'll save Yavelta for the back end. And like I said, I always like setting up Tailwind second to when they can. If I can. If I can, set it up second. Because you get that last turn to outspeed, which is just great. The real boom's going to come in here. We're going to take terrain control. We're going to say, hey, you're not allowed to have that. That's our terrain. That is our terrain. Now, our Tailwind is going to set up here. And we're just getting started. We're just getting started here. We're just setting up our squad here. He's going to go for Nature's Madness. And doesn't that half my HP? Right? Something like that. Yeah. That's my HP. And then the Moon Blast flies by. Like I said, I knew that was coming. And our Roll Boom is able to soak it up. And of course, it gets a special attack shot, but good thing we are physical attacking. Good thing we are physical attacking. The terrain is out and about. I think we just drop a Heat Wave into it. Ooh, I could fake out now. I could fake out. I think I'm just going to fake out onto the Wimscot. I think I'm just going to Heat Wave and say that picks up the KO, right? With the Charcoal, super effective. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. You guys might actually hear my dog. My dog's barking in the back. <laughs> my dog's just sitting there barking in the background. Probably someone at the door. But I always hear it like through my headphones. I'm just like, ah, come on. I'm barking while I'm recording. It's a little rough. Maybe you guys hear it, maybe you don't. My microphone compression is pretty low. We'll see. But Fake Out comes out here. We should be able to pick up the KO onto the win. He has an eject button, of course. <laughs> he has an eject button, of course. And he's going to have to bring back out the top of Lele. So the terrain is going to switch. And that does not work out in our favor. I do not like that. Not one bit. Lele is going to fly through here, but more importantly, we get off some damage onto the Calyrex and onto the Lele as well. But this could really benefit from us. Actually, I don't know. That one could definitely come back out here and set up another Tailwind soon. Here goes our Heat Wave. Chip it away. Give me some burns. Give me some burns. There's one. Show me two. Give me two. All right, we'll take one. We'll take one. We get off a burn onto the Lele. I love it. And this is why I wish we had our, uh, our, what's it called? This is why I wish we had our, our terrain still up. Because we could have been able to take this thing out. But I'm just going to protect my talent flame here. I'm going to protect this lovely little Pokemon. And we'll see how this one plays out. I think after this turn, we have one turn in our Tailwind. So we're going to protect here. I wonder what he's going to do. He's going to go for the Moon Blast over onto you. I know he's going for the Astral Barrage. That's tough news. He's going to be able to pick up the easy KOs. And he gets a crit, man. What you mean, dude? What you mean? Eating up the crits. Expanded Force is going to fly through here. Later, Real Boom. Later, Skater. That's tough news. That's tough news. I thought he was just going to go for, into the Astral Barrage. But he has a terrain out here. Maybe should have hard swapped him. It's a tough one. Okay, so here's the thing here. His tailwind ends. I can totally see him protecting, right? I can totally see him protecting, but it's super, super tough. Do I read the protect? I could bring out Kartana. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say overheat actually picks up KO onto that thing. I'm going to save my Yveltal for the back. I'm going to go for the smart strike right over into you. 
This thing might protect, but I'm going to drop this overheat. I am going to drop this overheat and see if we can pick up this KO. But I'm going to say the Calyrex protects, right? I'm going to say the Calyrex protects. We got this one turn where we outspeed. So if he doesn't double protect, we can actually make a play here. But if he does, there's a protect for the Calyrex. I saw that one coming. Hopefully he's not protecting the Lele. Please don't protect the Lele. He doesn't protect the Lele. Cool. There's this. Bang. See you later, top of Lele. Get out my face. We get a nice little beast boost action happening. And the best part about this is we have focus action. He doesn't know that. So that's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for us. As he's probably going to go into the Tailwind now and go for, say, an Astral Barrage or an Expanding Pool. So with that going on, with that going on, that is huge because he's probably going to bring me down in my Sash and then my Cartana just takes out his counter. And that could pretty much solidify our win. No Cartana coming in that back end. Cartana coming in that back end. Smart Strike, mm, what's going to do more damage? Smart Strike never misses. I don't think this is going to miss. I think we just go into a Leaf Blade and finish this thing off. And then if we can get off the Tailwind, we, we could go for it. But I really just don't see the point. I mean, we might as well go into it just in case. Just in case. It could it could help us out. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I definitely see a tailwind into an expanded force. Yeah, there's a tailwind. I think we're sitting fine here. Calyrex is definitely gonna go down to a plus one Cartana with stab moves coming out here. There's the Astro Barrage. He cannot kill me due to our focus sash. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Town flame definitely gonna go down there. And our focus sash triggers, baby. Our lovely sash. Mwah. Mwah. Yo, love the focus sash. Love the focus as Grimnay boost it, but yay. But hey, little horsey. Giddy up and get on out of here. Giddy up and get on out my game, fool. Get him out my face, y'all. I'm not dealing with him. Not dealing with him one bit. Beautiful turn by us. Getting this Cartana in at the perfect time, making that call. And now it comes down to a 2v1 situation. And this thing either has to eat up a smart strike or an oblivion wing. So it's this thing's option. It's this thing's option. This is your option, Tyson. Unless he's rocking Dazzle and Gleam. Could do a sturdy. Could do a sturdy, but we're going to double down into this thing. Oblivion Wing into Smart Strike. Let's see how this one plays out. Battle is canceled. There it is. GG's. 2-0 for this video. Let's hop into a third and grab ourselves that perfect record. Let's grab ourselves that perfect record in our third and final battle. Going up against yet another Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Alongside Whimsicott, Rillaboom, Urshifu, or not Urshifu. Oh yeah, he does have Urshifu. <laughs> I meant to say Rillaboom and Incineroar, but then I said Urshifu, buddy. He still ended up having Urshifu. And then final Pokemon is going to be Nihilego over here. So pretty meta team. Pretty meta team. Uh, definitely want to try to get Togekiss and Regilecki some loving in this battle. So even if we lose this one, it's all good. We're going to lead the Regilecki here. Bring the Yveld. Hmm. Bring the, let's lead the Rillaboom. Lead the Rillaboom. Actually, I don't know. Let's lead the Talon Flame, actually. I'm liking the Talon Flame. So we can go, we can match his Tailwind if we have to. And then we'll offer him that Yvelta. And then let's get the Togi Wogi. Even though I probably would want to have Kartana or Rillaboom, I just want to showcase every single Pokemon on this team. So win or lose here, it's totally fine. We just don't get swept here. We don't get swept and we don't go 0 3. Those are my two rules for the channel. The two rules for the channel. I don't think I don't think we ever we might have went 0 and 3 maybe like a while back maybe a while back but we don't get swept we do not get swept but we don't get we don't go 0 and 3 ever since that rule came into effect we don't go 0 and 3 you guys know that you guys know that he's gonna end up going Whimsicott and Incineroar which is totally fine so I can definitely see a fake out popping out here I might just double protect here which is probably gonna be my play here just so we can have the tailwind in the back end so Intimidate is going to do absolutely nothing let's just protect. A double protect, or do I set up a real play? Do I think he's going to, uh... Do I think he's going to fake out is a real question. I think he's going to fake out the talent flame, right? Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what this dude's play is. I think he's going to fake out the talent flame. I think talent flame's a must to fake out. But he has two big threats here. I probably should have just went into Tailwind and E-Web, knowing he's going to go into a Tailwind and Fake Out. And then I can get Speed Control either way. But I really want my Tail and Flame to be at full health. So we can guarantee that first time priority. Lumpus Scott's going to protect. I'm, I'm totally cool with that turn. And Fake Out onto my Tail and Flame. Fake Out onto my Tail and Flame. That'll be a lovely little turn for us. He's not going for a Fake Out. Not one bit. He going for a straight fire. What's... What are you going for here? Parting Shot? What are you doing here? 
What's this dude doing? I'm a little confused. Go for straight flare ones. Ooh. Ouch. Don't like that one bit. I just like he is able to eat up with dandy candy. He takes a big old recoil damage. And in that case, do I set up a reflect for the squad? I mean, who else does he have on the scene that's physical? He has a decent amount of physical. Effect. So I'm thinking of just setting up the reflect and going into a lovely little tail in here. I think that's our play. We get off this reflect for the rest of the team for a couple turns. That will definitely be beneficial for us. Especially up against a team like this with a few physical attackers like Willboom, Urshifu, and Incineroar. This could be great for us. This could be big all around. So, we're going to set up this reflect. We're going to set up a Tailwind at the same time. And this guy just goes straight into the uh, Flare Bones, which is just smart by him. Give it to him all day. It's really tough to not go into the fake. I feel like that takes a lot of discipline. I feel like it does, but... We're gonna, he's going to set up a Tailwind. We're going to match his Tailwind here. And we are going to be able to outspeed in order to get off this Reflect first. And then he's probably just going to take out my Regilecki, right? Probably go for another Flare Blitz. If I had to guess. If I had to guess, right? Throat Chops coming through here. And that, oh, that's over on Helm. Okay. Okay, baby. You love to see it. Let's full switch out now. Let's full switch out. This actually might be able to pick up a KO. We'll see. And then I think I just drop a nice little Heat Wave. Let me just drop a lovely little Heat Wave Keeping, he was trying, he was thinking I was going to protect. He was thinking I was going to protect that. But nah, so we set up that reflect, helping us eat up some damage. Let's roll out now. Let's roll out. Big mistake by him. Big, beautiful mistake by him. Big mistake by him. Awesome plays by us. Good for us. Yeah, I always love talent flames inside. Just fire burn? Come on, man. You can't go wrong with a fire burn. Cannot go wrong with it. There's only like one other one. That's like Ho-Oh. <laughs> this one's like Ho-Oh's like, like little cousin over here. His stupid little cousin that no one likes, but everyone likes him for some reason. <laughs> Bolt switch coming out here. Is that KO? Ah! Ouch, almost a free focus sash. Almost a free sash. We're gonna bring out Togi Wogi here. Togi Wogi is coming out. Bring out the Togekiss. Love this Pokemon. Great little Pokemon. Moonblast's gonna fly through here. Don't into my Togekiss, yo, Togekiss. Thanks for thanks for eating that one up. Anyway, he's gonna fly through here. I might pick up a double KO. Uh, this thing might be Sash. It's just not. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's not a Sash. We had a crit on him. Get out of my face. I think it was dead regardless. It needed a Sash. Definitely needed a Sash. We had the charcoal item going on us as well. That's some huge damage. Dang, did I actually should have remembered that we were going into a heat wave and that we were going to outspeed? Because I would love to have my, like, debunk out of here. Oshifu is going to fly. That's totally fine. We have Dazzling Beam ready to rock. And the Lego is going to be the next. The next lovely little moment. He's probably going to go into a rock move on to me, but I am just going to go into here. Try to get off that dash and lean. And do I just overheat? I might just go for some burns here. Burn could be the play. I mean, these are his final two Pokemon, so like, what's my best bet? Is to do more damage, but I think burn is our best bet with him right here. Now Lego's going to go for the Meteor Beam. We're going to say bye-bye to whoever he touches. Whoever he touches is dead, and it might be a Togekiss. This might just bring him right back in this game. Might just bring him right back into this game. Meteor Beam's gonna fly through here. Hit my Talon Flame. Just think I'm a Talon Flame, please. Nope. Tokus, no! Leave him alone! Tokus goes down. Urshifu is. We do have Eweb right now, which is cool. Still have him in the back. Oh, this one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be really pushing it close. This one's really gonna be pushing it close. Heat Wave does come out beforehand, which is great. We get a burn. Show me some burns. Throw him around. Give him free burns. No burns! What you mean? No burns come out here. This thing is going to slap up on Talon. Just going to beat this thing down. Beat him down with some treasure strikes. There's that. I could go into an Oblivion Wing. He might have Power Gem Rocket on him, which is definitely scary. Definitely scary. Definitely got to slow these punks down, too. Definitely got to slow him down. Maybe E-Web might be able to take out. E-Web might be able to take out. I don't want to double down into it, though. That's the problem. I really don't want to double down into it. We're definitely going into e but Just take speed control. Uh, hmm. He definitely doesn't have uh. He definitely doesn't have sucker bunch, but he might have aqua jet. I would. I could definitely see him have an aqua jet. But let's drop this e web. Which I want to believe him. I think dark pulse is definitely. Right? Now he'll let us boost it. If he can, if he's rocking power gem, he could definitely do big damage on me. Aqua jet's gonna fly through here. That's sad. That is sad. And there's the power gem. Need you to eat. He eats. He eats up all day. Dark Pulse is going to be able to fly through here. Can I get a KO on this thing? 
we do not. We're going to end up losing our third and final battle. Dang it, man. Tailwind Peter's out on both sides. That's rough news. That's GG's. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run this battle. I'm just gonna run this battle. He comes in with a clutch aqua jet, takes out my Regis Lecky in my last ditch effort to win this battle, and we go two and one for today's video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to push high ranks, rent this team right here. I knew this team was going to be an absolute banger. We got some wins with it, lost one, won two, and just dominated the rank ladder for today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.